In the summer of 2022, a group of interns participated in the SBAR Explorer and Research Internships, exploring sustainable crop alternatives for arid climates such as Southern Arizona. Interns focused on Waiuli, a perennial desert shrub that produces durable natural rubber. Waiuli has the potential to replace the water and labor intensive Para rubber tree, farmed primarily in Southeast Asia. Interns were able to explore the environmental, ecological, and economic sustainability of Waiuli through a variety of activities, presentations, and projects at the University of Arizona. Early in the program, interns had the opportunity to visit Dr. Julie Nelson's soil lab, where we learned how to classify soils by color and type using several different methods. We learned about the importance of soil classification to the adoption of new crops, as well as learning more about the needs and soil preferences of Waiuli. So far, my favorite activity has been learning how to classify different soil types. Interns also heard presentations from many different professors and experts in the SBAR program. We learned about the history of Waiuli development and an overview of Waiuli genetics with Dr. Dennis Ray. We took a closer look at the economic viability and sustainability of Waiuli with Dr. Trent Tegerstrom, and we learned about the preservation of Waiuli's genetic lines with Dr. Claire Heinitz. So Dr. John from New Mexico State University came in today to talk to us about guar and agronomy, and he mentioned how the only guar manufacturing company in the United States is shutting down. So I was just wondering how that affects guar farmers and anybody who's researching the crop. So what was the most interesting thing you learned? That the bagasse of Waiuli can be turned into biocoal, which has the same BT as We also heard from Dr. Kimberly Ogden and Dr. Sorolcha about the uses for Waiuli resin, a byproduct of rubber extraction. We tested different adhesives on various materials and learned what properties Waiuli adhesives must have to be commercialized. We took our first field trip to the Water and Energy Sustainable Technology Center. Dr. Akili led us on a tour through the facility and taught us about the different equipment and research methods used at the West Center. The research conducted at the West Center is used to improve water quality and purification in Southern Arizona and beyond. Our next field trip was to the Bridgestone Biorubber Research Center in Eloy. Dr. Dave Derrick gave us a tour of the facility where researchers are currently working to improve Waiuli genetics and produce plants which yield more rubber and can be commercialized more easily. We were able to view the labs where seed is cleaned and tested, the greenhouses where young Waiuli plants are grown, and the large fields of mature Waiuli which are used to test new genetic lines. The Bridgestone Biorubber facility conducts research that is essential for Waiuli's commercialization. We also got to visit the Bridgestone Waiuli Research Rubber Production Plant where we saw a research sized version of the production plant that will be used to extract rubber and resin from Waiuli. We used a lot of the clever distillation methods and gravity to put a damage and were built up so they're just out. I thought, yeah, I really like the chemical processes behind that because it's not just all mechanical, you know, you gotta have like a lot of solvent. Mm -hmm. I thought it was very clever the way that it was done. For our final project, interns had the opportunity to apply what we had learned about Waiuli to real-life situations. We heard several presentations from Dr. Clark Sievert of Oregon State University, and were then able to utilize his agricultural model, Benko. Benko, or the Break-Even New Crop Options Analysis, is a computer model that researchers and farmers can use to project the income of a farm under varying circumstances, such as different crop mixes, changing market prices, or acquisition of new land. Interns got to experiment with Banco and use it to assess the economic viability of Waiuli by incorporating it into a simulated crop mix. We then compiled our results into posters and gave a presentation. Using Banco allowed us to get a realistic look at the production aspect of developing Waiuli, as well as exploring the complex economic side of SBAR's research. Another part of the SBAR internship was the research intern program. One of our research interns, Ahmed, had the opportunity to explore a research question under the guidance of Dr. Dia El Sheikha. Ahmed spent six weeks working at the USDA Arid Land Agricultural Research Center in Maricopa, exploring work done by SBAR researchers as well as answering his own research questions. So what we've been doing is we use these two drones to take pictures of like the fields that we're working on and then we use like different softwares to process the images and I learned a lot about like the plants that we're studying and like um, how there's like different things you have to watch out for 
and like there it can be pretty sensitive sometimes and like so how would you say having an intern has contributed to your research we need i cannot do everything alone but i have lots of tasks to do at the same time so we need, i needed a helper to go with me to the field while i'm collecting plant measurements in one area he would do another part of the field so yeah of course his help was was needed and that's it's really nice and he, at the same time he would learn lots of things about like drawing. Would you say Ahmed is like the most like valuable or interesting one of those skills that you learned how to do in your research? Um, I would say the image processing on the computer because along with that I learned like how to use like other softwares and I feel like it'll be really helpful for me later in life. It, it made me realize that it's not like as easy as it looks. Um, it takes a lot more work than, than I originally thought. And you know, I'm learning a lot. Throughout the program, interns had the opportunity to take an inside look at an important research project and a significant emerging industry. With the guidance of knowledgeable and passionate faculty, interns were able to explore new tools, establish new interests, and gain new insights. Um, personally, I thought um, making rubber was always more of an agricultural process. But I'm now realizing that it's like two different worlds because you have to grow it and that's like the whole like agriculture, sustainability and all that, water conservation. And then you actually have to produce it, which is so much different, it's so much more complicated. Um, and it's just these two completely different but yet closely related scientific areas. I thought it was